Well, sleep isn't the only component to being well rested and healthy. Here to explain that is Dr. Matthew Edland. He is the author of The Power of Rest. Welcome back, Doctor. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. How many, how sleep deprived are New Yorkers? Uh, they're about as sleep deprived as the people in Washington, which means mm -hmm. that they're putting up a sleep deficit as big as the federal budget deficit at this point. Is it just the stress that, of living in the city that does it? That's part of it, but it's just that we've started to treat ourselves like machines. We don't see ourselves as rebuilding, renewing, uh -huh. re re revitalizing ourselves, and that's what we need rest for. Well, what's the downside? What happens when you're sleep deprived chronically? Um, in every animal study that's ever been done, the animal dies. We need that's rest. That's critical. It's, yeah. it's somewhat important, yeah. yeah. Uh, we need rest just like we need food. Now, we love to eat, mm -hmm. and we really love food, so we should really love rest because we need both to restore and renew our bodies. So how can you, what are the many ways you can get rest? There's physical, mental, social, spiritual rest. There's all kinds of techniques. Mm -hmm. People tell me they never have any time to rest. So I said, okay, I have all these techniques that can be done in 30 or 60 seconds. And basically they range from everything from deep breathing to spiritual exercises to doing something really cool, walking across the street. Because something as simple as walking can grow your new brain cells, can really? reset your immune system. Oh yeah. So it isn't just sleep. No, rest is how the body renews itself. Rest uh -huh. is how the body rebuilds itself. And you want food and rest to work together because when you get them to work together, you can have a really, a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I, I just to juice the segment up a little bit here, I understand that sex equates to rest. Sex is a form of social rest. The, what people have to remember is that rest is sensual. Rest is spiritual mm -hmm. and rest can be very exciting if mm -hmm. you know how to actively rest. Mm -hmm. And you have said sleep is not enough. We've kind of covered this right now. But when you're on vacation and you think, oh, okay, this is the time I can really, I can kick back, I can catch up on all my lost sleep. Is that a, can you do that? Can you, can you take a week out or two weeks out and catch up? You can get pretty close. What you want to do on a vacation is really use it as a vacation. Use it as a chance to revitalize, renew yourself. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you need sleep, but you want to have experiences. And that's what rest is all about. You want rest to renew your mind as well as your body. You know, a lot of people just get over-programmed on vacation, don't they? They oh, yeah. plan well, they, every single well, day ahead of time. They turn it into a job. Yeah. Rest is about having different kinds of experiences that revitalize you. And that's what people should be doing on vacations. Not going out and going to 17 different castles in 40, 14 different countries. They should be going and trying to have the kinds of experiences they wouldn't have at home. Yeah. Doctor, thanks for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. It. I'm feeling better already. Let's hope so. <laughs> coming up.